yes, yes. Yes, these things always work out just the way Harvey says they will. It's very, very versatile. Did I tell you he could stop clocks? To what purpose? Well, you've heard the expression, his face will stop a clock. Well, Harvey can look at your clock and stop it. And you can go anywhere you like, with anyone you like, and stay as long as you like. And when you get back, not one minute will have ticked by. You mean that he... Uh, you see, he can... You see, science has overcome time and space. Well, Harvey has overcome not only time and space, but any objections. Fly specks. Fly specks. I've been spending my life among fly specks while miracles have been leaning on lampposts at 18th and Fairfax. Tell me, Mr. Dowd, will he do this for you? Oh, he'd be willing at any time. But so far, I ha haven't been able to think of any place I'd rather be. I, I always have a wonderful time, wherever I am, whomever I'm with. I'm having a fine time right here with you, Doctor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, I, I know where I'd go. Where? I'd go to Akron. Akron? Oh, yeah. There's a cottage camp just outside Akron, in a grove of maple trees. Green, cool, beautiful. Uh, that's my favorite tree. I'd go there with a pretty woman. Oh. A strange woman, a quiet woman. Oh, under a tree. I wouldn't even want to know her name. Well, I would be just Mr. Smith. And I would send out for cold beer. No whiskey, huh? No. Uh, then I would tell her things. Things that I've never told to anyone. Things that are locked deep in here. <coughs> and as I talked to her, I would want her to hold out a soft white hand and say, poor thing, you poor, poor thing. How long would you want this to go on, Doctor? Two weeks. Two weeks? Uh, wouldn't that get a little monotonous, just Akron, cold beer, and poor, poor thing for two weeks? No. It would be wonderful. Uh, well, I... I, I can't help feeling, Doctor, that you're making a mistake not allowing the woman to talk. I, if she'd been around at all, she might have picked up some very interesting news items. And I'm sure you're making a mistake about all that beer and no whiskey, but it's your two weeks. <laughs> Mr. Dowd, could he... Would he do this for me? Oh, he could and might. No, I've never heard Harvey say a word against Akron. By the way, Doctor, where is Harvey? Don't you know? Well, well, the last time I saw him, he was with you. Oh, but he's, he's probably waiting for me down at Charlie's. Uh, yes, that's it. He's down at Charlie's. Uh -huh. Well, in that case, I think I'll go down and join him for a nightcap. Fortunately, Charlie's stays open rather late. 